that learned to fly with the Italian Air Force during World War One. They flew in these open cockpit uh, planes to try motor compound bombers, and uh, it was very cold flying these missions over the uh, Italian Alps. And in one particular mission, and you see here, here the um, aviators had it bundled up to ward off the cold. One particular mission, he contracted a case of pneumonia. Looked like he'd recovered. He came back to America, uh, went about his life, a year and a half passed. But in the summer of 1920, a relapse set in. And despite the best medical care, the Watchwoods could provide for their son, young Emory Ewart Watchwoods died at age 25 in 1920. Devastated by the loss of their only child, the Watchwoods thought an appropriate way to honor the young boy's memory would be to build a Lincoln Memorial in his honor in their winter home of Redlands, California. Uh, that dream became a reality in 1932, 84 years ago, when Mr. Watchorn dipped into his own pocket to the tune of $60,000 and built this original eight-sided octagon that you see here on the slide. Uh, fountains were added in 1937 to the east and west of the facility, and a flagpole, much needed, was finally added in 1944 during the midst of World War II, the same year that Robert Watchorn passed away as well. This is the way the shrine looked for those of you who have been there in, uh, prior to the the 1990s, the way it looked from all the way from 1937 onward, and it was only a thousand square feet. More material, more material continued to come in. So as a result, in the 1990s, uh, we expanded the facility in 1998, tripling the size of the institution and allowing more material about Lincoln and the American Civil War to be displayed. Included in the collection is things ranging from an original marble bust of Lincoln by the American sculptor George Gray Barnard and probably the most prized piece in the entire collection of Sons Play uh, right now, as a matter of fact, is an original Norman Rockwell painting entitled Thoughts on Peace on Lincoln's Birthday, showing a World War II soldier reading a book about Lincoln and seeking inspiration from Lincoln's life and times. Uh, so if you have not been to our facility, and a handful of you who are not, I commend it to your attention. If you're interested enough to uh, come here and hear my humble remarks this evening, you're certainly going to be much more impressed with what we have to display at the Lincoln Memorial Shrine.